Hello everyone, and welcome to a new video. Uh, this time for the uh, new Abyss Chaos. Uh, one of several, but this is the last one. And as you can see, it's looking to be quite a bit different, as it's a 4 waiver, and it's a quest level 190. Now, there are no actual uh, requirements for getting through, just get through. But the target score is quite high. It's 800k. Hopefully I can make it through with this team. You got some really silly enemies. You got the... The Marlboros here are honestly going to be the biggest threats. But I've seen that this uh, team had worked for someone else, so I'm thinking of trying this. For now, I... Not only... Uh, I don't have the burst, though. Uh, the person I've seen who did it with this team had uh, Shantoto's burst, so it might be a bit more difficult for me, but I believe I can probably work it with a just her LD. Uh, actually, let's see. I don't believe any of the enemies have any notable resistances for the most part. It's been a little while since I've used RCLS, so it'll be interested in getting into the swing of things again with her. But this is four waves and it's a quest level 190 instead of uh, 180 which is the normal chaos level. I believe the substratus chaos was a 185. I don't know what it's going to be expecting for me. I'm going to be attempting to uh, hold on to uh, Alice's skills a bit more than I normally would. Uh, generally, I go with her rotation that uh, it's more DPS oriented, but I'm going to be trying more for uh, A longevity rotation here. And they both have the the HP silence on, so they can't get that off right away. Mostly trying to focus one down. I just a little bit off from killing them. I'm gonna finish off uh, B. I think I messed up with Alice's uh, rotation just a tiny bit. But it should be fine either way. Brave attack here. Oh, 
That one's a bit weaker. And I'm going to use this just to get rid of that uh, health uh, regen bow, despite not really needing it. And this is one of the more annoying waves. Mostly because of the debuffs they put on with their munchin. Now let's see if I can get the rotation correct this time. That's a bit of an ouch. Tried to be a bit cheeky there with a grave regen. Now grave attack. That was going to break her, but it missed. That's nice. And here comes the pain in the butt. That's not good. Are, are they sure they didn't put the, the blind on themselves? Okay. Well, that's still one of the most hated things with these guys. It's the blind lasts for so long. It's not even like it's one or two turns. It's five whole turns, so you're basically unable to hit them anymore. I'm going to try this just to see if it works. The main target got hit, so that's good at least.
Like whether this hits or not, I'm getting a small heal at the very least. That is. Really hoping this hits. There we go. Now going into this uh, wave, the big problem is I still have a uh, blind on two characters. Again, it's like the enemy has blind on him instead of me. Never mind. This is the last turn of blind on Arciella here. And Shantaro doesn't have blind on at all. So she's doing a lot better at the very least. I'm gonna go power my normal strategy of just targeting one over the other for the most part. Because I don't believe most of these have uh, uh, rage mechanics on them. Now this is going to wipe their buffs and heal me a bit, which is going to be useful. And she's broken. Yeah, this is the correct one.
and they're both tugging in Alice, eh? But I believe the worst is they have is just, yeah, back kick. Which, as you can see, doesn't do all that much. I believe this is going to be an HP attack, so I am silencing them. This seems to be going decently well so far. I didn't realize Shantoro's rage was so low. And that's the end of that wave. So the last wave, I think, should be the bugs. Oh no! It's worse than bugs. I'm going to uh, go into this stance with Arciella. Do a C65 with Alice. And I am going to try to burst this Marlboro down. Because it starts off with bad breath, as you may expect. And I want to make use of RCLA's battery here a good bit. I'll say hit in really hard. Use Salvation Scythe here.
And that gets rid of A. No, Malvaro, you may not speak. Eh, yeah, might as well. Oh, enjoy your veil. You're not going to have it for long. Meanwhile, let's also take off your buff here, even if it doesn't break. It broke anyway. Fantastic! That was fun. That was a lot easier than uh, the higher level uh, indicated. Uh, not even a perfect score. Or, uh, you can't even say it's perfect anymore, but... I probably could have gone in a bit harder. I had a few skills left with Arciella and uh, Shantoto each, including another LD. But I played it a bit on the safer side, I guess. But, yeah, that was kind of actually fun. It helps I had a decent uh, few characters to use. It would have been over a lot quicker if my uh, Shantoto had burst, but uh, what can you do? I'm not really going in on bursts right now for the most part. I might. Be going in on one this coming month as kind of a birthday gift to myself. Uh, because not only that, but I had hit my gem target for the month before it even started, so I've kind of got a little bit of a surplus of resources that I'm willing to put towards that. So I'm gonna be seeing how I do with that later. But I believe the next event should be... I forget actually what's coming up next. I believe we have a... should be getting a lost chapter. It might... I've completely forgotten the... the... what the stream told us. But I know I'm not going to be really pulling on much this month. I believe I am going to be pulling on Noctis. I might be going for his burst. Or the next story burst, depending. And I'm going to be pulling on the banner that has Leon in it. I believe that's part of a heretic. Uh, simply because Leon's kind of a cool character that I've not so much ignored till now, but he's never really meshed with my scheduled pulls. And I want to use him. Okay, I guess that's going to be the, the stairs for the next update. But I want to be using him for uh, the summon a bit. to Because he's a bit of a cheese track with him. Because of his ability to... Absorb uh, Daruk and making the enemies uh, hits into Daruk. He, as long as they start off non elemental, he can effectively make uh, some enemies just basically into nothing. They end up healing you more than they hurt you. So I want to at least get him to EX plus territory. 
and just to get his EX to have it, because he's kind of a cool character either way. And I th think that would be most of the Final Fantasy two EX for me outside of Maria I'm missing. But I believe the next actual event should be the next part of Abyss, actually. It might come alongside the LC. I, I'm just blanking on the schedule at this point. But yeah, it will be interesting to see what the next part of the uh, Perfectum Abyss is like. Uh, this one was a lot more fun than I was expecting. I actually had a lot more problems with the with the substrata chaos for this than this one. Probably because I was just messing around too much and I don't have as complete a character set for that requirement. Like, uh, let me see. Oh, it doesn't tell me what I cleared it with. Oh well. I think I ended up using Lena and two others. I I've just completely blanking on a lot of things now, but I better get off now. I I still need to make up the thumbnail for my my story a bit uh, chaos. I have that already uploaded and just need to make the thumbnail and put it into public viewing. But either way, uh, good luck on anyone else's uh, runs of this chaos. It's going to be a bit restrictive for some people, but it's a good fun for those who have a bigger roster. And don't worry if you can't uh, do these right now. The Abyss uh, itself is a permanent feature. You're going to be missing out on some extra stuff if you don't do it right now, but you don't force it if you you don't feel you can do it right now. Because this stuff is just supposed to be fun. Don't make it unfun for yourself. If you have the characters to get through it, uh, that's dandy. If you, if you don't, don't worry about it. It'll still be here later. But e either way, uh... See you everyone, and I'll meet you in the next video. Goodbye.